I make you not chunky. I save your life. I save your life. I save your life. Okay. So next, I save your life. Then we two will be even. What you do, Gregor? You not to choking! Yes, because I am too, my food. But need to save your life so we to be even! No, I am winning. One to zero. Gregor, you fall down dry the pole. Probably your Batsky is dying now. Unless... Here I come to save Batsky. You are come down to save Anta. Yes, Gregor. Then we be even. Ha! Okay. <laughs> Anton, I'm out of hole now. Yes. Because I saved you out of the hole! Ha! Now it's even, Gregor! I saved your life! I saved your life! Gregor? Gregor! I kill you! Bye. Bob. Yep, Bob. I've just had Satan on the phone. We're not inflicting enough pestilence on mankind. I want a plague of locusts, and I want it now. Right. A good old-fashioned plague of locusts to make them curse their miserable lives. Wait, the boss will probably be dead. Um, sorry, I'm not aware of one of like a screw. Dang it. Well, what do we have? Um, we've got some cocker spaniels. How many? Um, one. Oh, double dang it. One spaniel doesn't make a plague. You can't have a plague of one spaniel. I don't know what to say. Oh, very well. Unleash the Spaniel! Me here, please, driver.
To live what you have to live for. Oh, what's up, Neil? Uh, totally thought you wouldn't be here today. Well, what are you talking about? I'm always no, 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 no. It's just that, uh, you know, I, I guess, I guess you're feeling better. Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Because I didn't see you at my party, and Linda told me you were sick or something. Yes, I. You're right. I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. It was like a 24-hour yeah. stomach thing. It was puking it's just everywhere. Funny Mark said you were at his party. So I guess you're sick when you want to be sick. How's that? What work? are you spying on me now, now? I was concerned about you, Come Neil. Come on. I mean, you respond on e-bike to say you're coming. I make a tuna noodle casserole and an ambrosia salad because that's your favorite. Uh, you want to know what happened? This is what happened. I was, I got mugged. You're a liar. There, there was a, the, I, I don't know how it happened. Somebody, a, I'm out of here, dude. Oh, Gordon, come on, let's talk about this. Got it. Slumber pants. Son the pants! Son the pants! <laughs> <laughs> the danger, danger! Danger, danger! Down or a bunch of champions, Travelogs. Today, Colorado. Snow country. Bundle up your phone, and a land of winter wonder. I want a new one! This one's broken! It keeps sliding out from under me! Mine is bent on both sides! Mine is bent as well! I want one with the American flag on it! Test your metal on the snow-covered slopes. Here it comes, Omar! Ready! Be ready! I am! Get ready! I am! Oh. Lasso! Lasso! Could you move, please? Could you move, please? Could you move, please? Can't you hear? I'm snowboarding here! Pay attention! They're slow pops. That's what they are. You know, your problem is you're too polite. You heard me say please, Omar. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You don't say please to hogs! You'll become one with nature as you discover her many and wondrous wonders. Oh, yes. Sweet relief. After a long day on the slopes, make new friends back at the lodge. <coughs> and nothing spells winter quite like a sleigh ride at night with friends. <coughs> sorry about the smell, boys. Eric Goldie got in with some bad apples. I'm sorry. This is unbearable. Please take us back now. I get paid by the hour, skinny. Then stop this cat! and let us off. We'll walk back. At night, you'll get to eat. It's a quicker death. And far less painful. And far more preferable at this point. At any point, I want my money back. I want to die. I want to die with you. Let's die together. No. This is Lester Champion's Travelogs. See you on the slopes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dangerous situations. January, let's say around 9057 BC. The big cavey thing in the Rocky Hill. Bugs McGee has made his all-important discovery of fire. His discovery, a big advancement for man, did not wow everyone at first. Come on. A little more, and me just about got it! Ooh, what that? Huh? Oh. That called fire. Great man Uggs McGee invent me learn. It's nice and warm. It go pretty. Thanks. Me like. What that? Look pretty. Lady. No. No touch. Ow. Fire hurt Darren. Fire hot, idiot. Ow. Fire now burns Darren more! Make stop, Noodle! Yeah! <laughs> What's that? <coughs> Look pretty! <coughs> Lady! Me, uh, ow! You need to remember. An ice cream fish resembles a cross between a jellyfish and an ice cream cone. Ice cream fish have a cone-like siphon that sucks in, then it spells water to propel the animal through the sea. <laughs> Like ice cream, I got a mess of pistachio. I got a fish that tastes like ice cream. I call a mess of pistachio. Tomorrow I might fish another river. I'll catch a mess of a rocky roll. Ah. Ah.
I'm Captain Amazo! I'm and here! Vinny, I'm not sure ill-fitting shorts are appropriate attire for school. But isn't Anthony a great guy? If I was a girl, I'd sure want to date him. What superpowers do you have? Well, I have this utility belt here. I've got a screwdriver. Duct tape! Tape measure! Okay, do you want to see my superpower? I can turn my eyelids inside out! Oh! Don't worry, ladies. I would never abuse my x-ray vision, but now I must depart! It takes me really big, yeah. I was just such a super dude. This is News Channel Station News U.S. The news ends with us. We're back. Nighttime here in the city can be a magical time. Crowded sidewalks filled with people headed to their favorite restaurants and evening entertainment. But on another side of town, the sidewalks are filled with something else entirely. And tonight, our Dormont Belay continues his five-part segment he calls, It Gets Dark at Night. Midnight. Life on these streets is what Darwin would call. Oh, my God. 
insatiable cravings. I have a craving. <laughs> I have insatiable cravings. What? Sound of a rubber toy is driving me to crazy. So? So? Get rid of. Get rid of? No! It's Chomsky! We'll never be without Chomsky! <laughs> Gregor, you flew Chomsky over fence! It's true. I wanted to see for how you react. I <laughs> can not live without a Chomsky! Yes, that is what I am hoping for. Can not breathing! Good plan is working. Chomsky? Look! Pink Pappy is holding to Chomsky! Anton? Prepare for the death of Puppy! Anton is not Puppy, he's helpless baby. What is helpless? Means he cannot do anything. Oh, so will be easy to kill. <laughs> Eh? Ah, Gregor! What is? Puppy has swallowed Chomsky! Is true. Ch Chomsky is inside. Puppy must get Chomsky! Ah! <laughs> Info. Listen to it. Rubber toy gone. Forever. No. Oh, can never be with no Jowski. <laughs> Jowski. What's that you took from me? I hope that I ain't
for show and tell, I'm auctioning off my lunch. I've got a bag of chips here, sour cream, and onion. Who'll give me 50 cents? Do I hear 50 cents, 50 cents to Brad in the bag? Can I get 60 cents? 60 cents, 60 cents, 60 cents to Lily. Dang, Lily. Sour I, cream and onion. I was just scratching my nose. Who'll give me 75? Do I hear 75 for the savory sour cream and onion? Anthony, I don't think. Miss Heron in for 75. Look at it live with 75 on a teacher's salary. Can I get a dollar? Anthony, why don't you just bring in some vacation photos or something for show and tell just once? You can say I'm in the pickle. Take it up! A in the jam. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, it, it looks like we're going to be working late. I love you, too. Oh, okay, bye. Finally. We're alone. You're waiting for Ravisher. Don't succumb to the temptation. Think of Matilda. Oh, Neil. Hi, glad I ran into you. Hey, before you leave, don't let me forget to give you Brian's glove. It's in my trunk. Um... You know what? Uh, actually, I'm just gonna run and get it now, if that's cool. Otherwise, I'm just gonna forget. Wait, 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 hold on. Well, why do you have Brian's glove? Because we had a game on set. Uh, you know what? Forget hold, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You told me we weren't doing the softball league this year. Well, no, 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 I no, no, no. I would have signed up. We're not I doing didn't... the league. We're not doing the league. This isn't a league. No, Brian's in a different league. It's, it's through his work. It's stupid. So how do you have his glove? <sighs> Look, it was a one-week thing, okay? They needed a pitcher. Fitzy and Trevor called Fitzy me. Fitzy and Trevor? They're there, too. Great. So basically, everybody but me is on this team. Neil, look, no one likes playing with you, okay? Because you get so competitive. I like to win! Why is that a bad thing, okay? I gave you guys two freaking interleague championships! Wow. Hey! <laughs> Insatiable cravings! Insatiable cravings! Now more of Lester Champion's travel logs. Today, a Caribbean cruise. Pack your cares away as you set sail for a week of fun, sun, and leisure. Tiny spaces! Tiny spaces! Omar! Panic! Omar! This is no time to panic! Let's think! Okay, sir, there must be some kind of mistake. You expect us to sleep in here? Do you expect us to breathe in here? I think they expect us to not breathe in here, because that's the only thing there's room for! That's right, not breathing! Not anything! Can't breathe! Can't breathe! Let the Caribbean sun wash over you as you spend the day poolside with new friends. Whoa! Who threw that? I don't know when I've been more relaxed. Outside a dentist chair? I'm looking at the pool in the brochure, and I don't see all of humanity in it! We want that pool! The one in the picture! The one without all of people in the world in it! Don't forget to pack your appetites, as every day you'll enjoy the limitless delicacies of a thousand lands. Try the baked Alaska. Omar, did you see the roast? Did you see the salmon? Did you see the pasta? Did you see the tenderloin? And all the desserts? I may die and faint all at the same time! Why is this line not moving? It's like we're in quicksand! Who's holding up the line up there? I bet it's someone insatiable! Well, then they should have a separate line for insatiable people! Yes, and one for regular, polite people! I think this guy's been through twice! First timers first! Give someone else a turn, fatty! Shopping and adventure await you on the many and varied ports of call. Three dollars. No, no, no. Not five. Three. Three U.S. dollars. Comprende now, monsieur? What do you think? We're just a bunch of tourists off the boat? 
Hey, Bob, look at me! And I got a caricature done! Tis I'll be It's like a disease! It's worse than like a disease, Omar. It's like a head wound when you already have a disease. And you're broke! And you have no food! Nothing but navy beans! Yet we're here! Have you picked a song yet? Still looking. This is Lester Champion's Travelogs. Bon voyage! Travelogs! Travelogs! What? Nothing. Uh, nothing. I, I was I, I was I was expecting something a little more dramatic. Like a severed head or something. Do you want a severed head? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I made you lasagna. Is it evil? Mm, yes. Then let me hear you say it. What? Here is your evil lasagna. I'm not feeling it. Have this, the evilest lasagna that there ever was. Oh, it's so evil you just won't believe how evil it is. Evil. 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 Very well. It's a madness begin! <laughs> Any chance of some evil garlic bread? No. Wow.
Kissing good. It's good to be kissed by me. Too bad no one's here to appreciate the goodness of how I am kissing. Now I shall move. Bad move, that is. My king's a better driver than I am. He drives like a scared little old lady. How beautiful she looks to be kissed by me. If she weren't so refined, she might compliment me on my bad mode. I taught him how to do the clutch two turns. I taught him where the lipstick goes. Yes, a lady of reading is too polite to compliment man mode. But two man modes? <laughs> it would be polite not to say so. What is that noise? It sounds like he's revving her too high. I can tell by her agitation that I'm driving him mad with amorous fur. Perhaps another man though will have her laughing like a kid in the font of my abundant love. He's definitely over-revving her. I guess only a lady knows. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Chicken Solo. Oh, yeah. Adrenaline! 
Okay, that stupid girl that answers your phone didn't tell me what a pain in the butt you were to find. You mean my wife. Do you have any tissues? Uh, well... There's probably like a zillion germs on the steering wheel. Uh, what is this, automatic? Uh, yes, it, it, it's an um, uh, You know, I think it's crank. Who picked this car? Well, it wasn't really... You. <laughs> Idiots! I hate driving downtown. Okay, are you thirsty? I think we need to concentrate on it. I didn't get my coffee this morning. Whoa. There's a place. Ah! They saw me. Maybe we can talk about signaling. Oh my god, that line is impossible. You don't have a CD player. God, local radio sucks. Listen, can we please concentrate? <laughs> Reach my cell phone. It's in my bag. Well, the, uh, I think you need to pay attention to the road. Oh, good lord. Huh? I cannot believe she's calling me. I can't believe it either. Yes? No, mother. I told you I had my driving lesson this morning. I don't know. It's so stupid. He wants to know what kind of insurance you have. Well, I have... I'm not asking him that. Call her back! I have to call you back. No. I'll call you back. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not my sister's keeper. Love you, too. My mother makes me so crazy. <clears throat> How much longer do we have to do this? So, you know, stop the car. What? Stop the car! What's wrong with you? Uh, we're, we're done. Here, take this to the DMV. What is this? It's for a taxi's license. 
You have a rare gift that shouldn't be wasted on a simple family car. I'm not driving a bunch of stupid strangers around. Uh, of course not. Now show me how to get to the interstate. I need to figure out the exit ramp thing. Dear Lord. Crazy demands. Deny me a hug. But you are a bunny. No. Stay put. Brother! Ah, uh, who can blame you? Look at me! <laughs> Hello, pretty lady! Don't do that! That's my style! Don't do that! That looks like cream corn! <laughs> 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 I wouldn't have any part of that.
Oh, he's shot a bone. Platypus. <laughs> can't get there for me. Oh, you can't get there for me. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Joey. Hi, Joey. Hi, Irene. Hey, did you do your math homework last night? Yeah, what's up with that? I couldn't figure it out. What did you get? Oh, man, that was wicked hard. Yeah, wicked hard. Let's check it out. Maybe we can get it done before we get to school. It says here there are two trains 150 miles apart. At 1 o'clock, train A heads east at 100 miles per hour. Train B is heading west at 92 miles per hour. Oh. Train B stops for one minute to let off three people. Where are they going? And they pick up two clowns. Yay, clowns! While the conductor of train A falls asleep and speeds the train up to 250 miles per hour. That's really fast. And then, a big pterodactyl came. No, darling. Yeah, it says here a pterodactyl eats part of the train. Back to train A. It stops for four seconds to pick up two robots. Insane robots? Of course. Yay! Now somebody accidentally moves plutonium into the engine of train B. It speeds up to, to like a thousand miles per hour. Whoa! When does train A meet train B? 2.30 p.m. Yeah, yeah. 2.30, yeah. yeah. that sounds that right. That sounds right. Oh, you can't get there from here. Ooh, ah. Guidebook for the Happy Boy, Chapter 72, Dating Etiquette. Bad boys honk their horns to let their dates know that they've arrived. Good boys meet their dates at the door with flowers. Boys try to snuggle on their first date at the movies. Good boys are ever the gentlemen.
And always remember, a good boy is a happy boy. You? He could! He could be a serial killer! These days you can't be too... Oh, I think that's me. Sorry, I gotta take this. Hey, hello! Ah, hey buddy, what's up? Ah, no, I'm not busy. Oh, you're thinking about getting one? Sure, yeah. No, you can pause and rewind. But you... Right, exactly. You can't fast forward until it's already been on TV. Neil, we're supposed to be helping this guy? No, it's just Gordon. <laughs> totally tell me about it. I know. Uh, hold on. We got another call. Yellow. Hang up the phone, Neil. Look, what are you doing? I'm showing you what you look like, okay? This is you. Yellow! Yellow! Oh I'm God. Neil! I'm on the phone! Well, I'm Gordon. I make fun of people because I'm so insecure. I wouldn't even wear shorts before I got calf implants. Guys, should I pick him up or not? Dude, you passed him like 10 miles ago. Oh, and FYI... I've gotten a lot of compliments on my cab, so... <laughs> oh, you can't! You can't help me! Hey, hey, can't help me! You can't help me! 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 And now, more of Luster Champions Travel Orcs. Today, Paris. Discover where the finest chefs in the world learn to cook. And another thing, your French onion soup didn't even taste French. Nowhere near as good as the mix we buy. And ours, you can make dip out of. Not to mention there's not one bottle of steak sauce in this whole house. No wonder you people are so rude. You have no idea how to eat. And someone put cheese on top of my soup. Delight in a lifetime of amazing views atop one of the most famous structures in the world. Whoa. They forgot to put the walls on. When will they finish this thing? Yes, you'd think they'd finish this before they let people come up on it. If this thing fell right now, it would split the city in half. Oh my god, what if it just crumbled? Crumble like a house of cards. No, no, it would just tip over like a shattered vase. I think it's going to fall down right now. I think it's moving. I think it's swaying in the wind. Sweet Lord, we're going to die. We're all going to die. This thing's going to break. Ah! No trip to Perry would be complete without throwing the art-covered walls of the world-famous roof. Omar, why is she giving us directions in French? We are not French. What? Do we look French or something? Tell her we're not French! Hello, lady, stop! Speak a language we can understand! Where is La Choo Choo? We just want to go to the museum! We're not French! We're not French! We are not French! Pictures painted on a wall. La Mona Lisa. Yes, yes, the Louvre. Yes, 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 yes we, bonjour, oh, we. Bonjour. Everyone knows who this is. Well, thank you. I am, how do you say, off the shift. What? I am off my seat. Wait! Tell him we're French! We're French! This is Lester Champions Travelogues. Au revoir.
Okay, you are... Dan Forth. Dan Forth. Danny. Danny. Dan. Okay, can I just pick one? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so let's see what we can teach you today. Just go ahead and start the car. Yes. You, um, uh, you just turn the key there and... Yes. You know, starting the car is often overlooked as part of driving. Yes. I'll be driving, won't I? Crazier things have happened, yes. A lifetime of freedom awaits my entrance. At some point, yes. And don't think I can't smell it. No, I, I would never think that. The good world is waiting for me to start the car. Yes. Say before, if I wanted a pizza pie, mm -hmm. I would have to order the pizza pie mm. and wait for some guy who has his own car to bring it. A pizza pie. Now, if I want a pizza pie, I just get in my car mm -hmm. and drive to the local pizza pie restaurant. Well, that, that would be freedom, yes. That's just one freedom act. I mean, yeah. crap, I can name like 60 or 70 other things. Our forefathers would be so proud. Did they have pizza pie then? No, no, I, I, I meant... <clears throat> Listen, Dan, uh, we, we only have an hour, so... What? Look, are, are you sure you really want to learn to drive? Am I sure? What, are you some kind of halfway man? No. Some I... kind of Thomas the Doubter man? Hmm. Let's light this puppy. Okay. Let's light this puppy. Yes. Of course, sometimes pizza at home can be good, too. Dude, I am so about the two for one. Okay, who is next for show and tell? Oh, Miss Heron, Miss Heron over here, me! Uh, me. Uh, let's see, Lily, did you raise your hand? Uh -uh, no, me. a crazy Ernie? Me, 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 please, me! Uh, Anthony has gone so many times this week, we're oh, gonna oh. give someone else a chance for a change. A Brad! No! Elvira! No! Tucker! No! Agnes! <clears throat> Excuse me, I am brand new exchange student from, uh, Bulgaria. My name is Bulgaro, and I would like to try your, how you say, show and turn. Oh, give me strength. Okay, Bulgaro, what have you got? Uh, see, see, today for show and tell, I've got, um... You don't have anything, do you? No. He just wants the attention. He needs attention. Is attention so wrong? Sunday pants. You can't get there from here. You can't get there from here. Oh, <laughs> 
food, egg, food! <laughs> Berry sits on the on the uh, coogly berry sits on the uh, something something tree. Hey, coogly berry, what kind of tree you sit in? What, what, what like, a, like a berry tree, huh? Hey, coogly berry, you sit in a berry tree or? My you, uh, name is not. Coogly Berry. Your name's not Good day! Good day, mate! Let's throw some shrimp on the old barber there, matey. Barbie! <laughs> What's that there, mate? I said Barbie! You throw shrimp on a Barbie! You don't throw shrimp on a barber! Barbie, you don't throw shrimp on a <laughs> Hey, are you cuckoo, mate? Huh? Are you cuckoo for, uh, what? Hey there, you little cuddly berg. You sit in a cuckoo puff tree, don't you? That is a cuckoo bird! I am... I am certainly not a cuckoo bird, I'm a cuckabulla. K-O-O-K-A-B-U-R-R-A -R -R -A. And I do not sit in a something something tree. That's a stupid, stupid song that I hate with every fiber of my being. And if I hear one more tour group or folk singing twit, sing that to me. I'm gonna pick someone's vocal cords straight to hell! We don't have a song. Hmm. Lucky you. Hey. Well, you got a song and a clock. That's serious business. Sunny pants. Oh. Looking good at the DMV. Everyone stare. Jealous. Okay, two cars come to a stop at the same time. Right of way goes for the car on the right. 
no luck. You're standing in a long, inhuman, bureaucratic line. Good impressions matter, and I am making one of those, Bob. A stop sign has six sides, or eight, or six. Why would they ask that? It says stop. How sad the little lives are. No joy, no fun, no kissing me. No wonder they look so bitter. Hand signal for right turn is hand straight up. Duh. And yet I admire them for trudging along, knowing how empty their pathetic existences are. Almost there. Better fix my face. Oh, that's what I get. I am a big aspiration, a precious jewel to be treasured. A little paint here, a squirt there. I just hope that doesn't detract from my man sound. A little need my man sound. Okay. I hate it when I blink. Jonathan, Jonathan, can you hear me? Can I? Jonathan, can you hear me? is frozen to ice. Look, all of the yard is ice. 
Do not like ice. But Anton, ice is good. For example, it's fun for to play hockey. Hockey? What is? It's game. Hmm. <laughs> I'm good at this game. Anton, bad dog. Our sticks are supposed to hit the pack. Like this way. Gregor, you hit Puck to my face! Yes, but actual is not real Puck. We use instead frozen turnski. You hit to face with turnski? Plus also your bleeding. Next <laughs> will you to bleed? Huh? Puffy dog is doing in our properties. And in sissy skates also. Hey! Puffy dog! Go home! <laughs> Do not like ice. <laughs> Puffy dog is cut off end of tail! Yes, now is not so pointy. Puffy must! Do not like ice. Ice is good. Good? Gregor, for what ice is good? <laughs> Now more of Lester Champions travel logs. Today, Hawaii. Or as the locals say, welcome in Hawaiian. Discover your own oasis among the palm fringe shores. Omar, let's remember this spot tomorrow and not come to it. Yes! Did you hear that? We're drawing a big fat no in the sand! No to families, no to tubbies, and no sports play! And for the price of these drinks, you think they can afford glass glasses? That's right, and not to mention, which I'm going to anyway, my glass has hair on it! Oh, what a surprise! And one more thing! If this is your hotel's idea of a signature drink, you must have all gotten D's in penmanship! And that's being generous. Which we're willing to be. Sometimes. But that's not now. Give your athletic prowess a thrill with an afternoon of high time adventure. This is supposed to be fun. Why is this fun? Do I know? Do I look like I'm having fun? I'm having less fun than anyone I know that's never had fun. I could have fun if I knew why this was supposed to be fun, which I don't, and now I'm not. Why do old people have to come to the beach? For those science buffs in the crowd, no trip to Hawaii would be complete without a visit to a real active volcano. This is what the fuss is about? We walk three hours just to get hotter? Maybe there's a cooler one. They probably charge twice as much for that. I won't pay it! What does the brochure say? This is what Hawaii came from! I thought it came from the United States. Well, maybe it was written before they got picked. Or maybe they're mad because they got picked 50. I'd be mad if I were picked last. Well, that's no reason to slide us! And don't forget to indulge your whimsical side in a night of local island culture. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer! This is Lester Champions Travelogs. Aloha, everybody. Gonna take it to the limit! Push that on below! I'm the monster on a mission! Gonna score that goal score! Yeah! Score!
I'm sorry. Are you? Are you? Uh, am, am I on the right? Yeah, no, you're definitely wait, wait, on the wait, wrong. Who are you? I'm Neil, and you are Clancy. Wait, you're Neil. They told me you were. Uh, what? Am I? Am I being replaced? Is that what this is? <laughs> ah! Oh, great! This is just like them to not even tell me. Gordon, did did you know about this? Huh? Uh, no, man, I, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know how it is. How what is? <laughs> Look, I only found out for sure last month. You knew for a month? Does that, wait, when we were up in Tahoe together, you knew. Wait, 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 you want me to ruin your Martin Luther King Jr. weekend? I bought that cabin. How am I going to pay for it now? I don't know. Do you... Do you save? Excuse me. Excuse Clancy, me. Clancy! Shut it! Uh, you may not have taken this job seriously, but... Look, you can't just saunter in here and think he'll listen to you. Dude, not cool. Put the controller down. Okay. Okay, that... That stings a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you, that stings. Hey, Neil. On the upside, you got a baby on the way? <sighs> The only call that I must heed is that constant call for speed. I heed the need for speed and I must win. Guti, Jimmy, Zihuti, Bakabu, Adrenalini, Sturta Mama! Flumpus, Jim Rotor! Tando, Tando, Egg! Adi, Hu, Hu, Hu!
on the $20 bill, but our seventh president, Andrew Jackson, was known for his toughness. Old Hickory, they used to call him, because he was tough, like Hickory. Want to know what happened to the guy who called Jackson's wife a fatty, fat, fattenheimer? Jackson killed him. That's right, he was kill a guy tough. Being tough was just who Jackson was, and I can relate. I mean, just yesterday, I took the advanced level Pilates class just by mistake. I am so sore today, but I'll work injured. Andrew Jackson isn't the only tough guy this country's ever known. <clears throat> I digress. Join me next time on the Hall of Presidents. William Howard Taft will eat. The Declaration of Independence. Good night.
Dr. Lyle Pushkin's Guidebooks for the Happy Boys, Chapter 15, Mountain Etiquette. Bad boys climb the mountain without a buddy or the proper equipment. <laughs> Good boys climb with a certified mountain climber and the proper safety equipment. Bad boys bring the wrong equipment on their Everest climb. Good boys are ever prepared. And always remember, a good boy is a happy boy. <laughs> Elizabeth, of your imminent demise, Sir Goodfellow. <laughs> I am certain your humor remains intact, even in your final moments on Earth. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Okay, I really didn't 
think it would go this far. I accidentally spilled coffee on the guy, and now we're about to stab each other with these giant golf tees. I mean, you, you can't tell me he felt hot coffee through all that armor. This is rots. I didn't want to joust, but everyone at the coffee shop was staring. They think you worry a little too much about pleasing other people. Well, you know, if anything, it was my fault. I bumped into Goodfellow. You know, I can barely see out of this thing. You had that ridiculous helmet on in the coffee shop? I know, it's silly, but, you know, it's, it's my look. Tough guy. That's me. <laughs> They're tough a lot. Oh, great. Countdown before getting a stick in my head. I can't joust! I've got asthma! I'm sorry, this, this is really pointless. Pointless? Are you serious? I, I know! I know, that's what I've been saying! Are you, are you messing with me? Because I, I was serious. No, I'm totally serious! Well... Great! This isn't wimpy that we're not going to go through with this, right? What? Wimpy? No, no! Hey, you want to, uh, go grab a cup of coffee? Okay, you got it. It's on me. Not again! <laughs> Just bad. Today on Show and Tell, we'd like to announce we are boycotting the pep rally! We protest! That's right! Why does the basketball team get a pep rally and the debate club gets bupkins? It's a double standard. Everyone thinks basketball and football is so cool. If the debate team had a pep rally and cheerleaders, we'd be cool too! We're tired of waiting! Pep rally's for debating! Now who's with us? Let's storm the principals! Let's storm the halls of power! Ah! I forgot my lunch. Oh! <laughs> 